So my first burn of the Firebox Freestyle, I'm out in the woods. It is minus 15 degrees Celsius. Good test of a couple of things here. One, I'm looking for my lighter, the plasma lighter. So just to save a little bit of time and battery life because the batteries don't like to last very long, I have preloaded my stove, set it up in a fire pit. I do not have the box slash ash pan sitting underneath it. It's directly on the fire pit. There should be enough air. It's obviously safe. Should be enough air underneath, but uh, so there is a little birch bark down in the bottom and a bunch of pine twigs sitting on top. Let's see if we can get it lit with the... Oh, that worked out well. So as you know, I've been testing this Survive Outdoors Longer Plasma Light all winter. And it has not failed me yet. I haven't even recharged it. And that's catching on quickly. Good. Okay, burning. Even with birch bark and pine twigs, things still start slowly here in the cold. But it's catching on for it now. So this is, as I mentioned, my first fire in the Firebox Freestyle. Get a few impressions on how it works. And the test will be, I'll boil some water in my Pathfinder bush pot to make a cup of coffee. What a better way to start a, the life of a new stove out than a nice cup of coffee. All right, time I can start putting a few more in. I'll be waiting for most of those sticks to drop down below the level of the top before I put my water on, of course. All right. 10 or 15 seconds, or well, a minute or so, into my first burn, what can I say? Airflow, lots of it. I doubt it, I don't know if I can lean in closely. It is drafting almost like a rocket stove. It's not a rocket stove, of course, it doesn't have the right uh, setup dimensions and everything else, but the chimney effect that's being created by the taller nature of the stove in relation to the, uh, the uh, width of the stove, it's, and the open fire grate underneath, it's drawing wonderfully. All right, let's see. I don't think we're ready for my pot yet. Full of snow too. And a little bit of water. You always want to put, if you have the water, of course, you always want to put a little bit of water down inside to start the melting process off. If you can do that, uh, it's a good idea uh, because sometimes what will happen is the snow being 80-90% air will start to disappear up from the bottom and all of a sudden you've got an air gap and no water. And everything that is uh, starting to melt inside gets turned to steam which gets absorbed further from the snow so what you get is what's known as a dry boil. And it works its way up, it can be hard on the pot and, and it's not going to give you the water you want. But if you add a little bit of water on the bottom, then you've got something for the fire to work with. All right, it's going to take a few minutes before I can uh, make a cup of coffee. So I think what I'll do is I'll just tend the fire for a few minutes and then bring you back. So it's not as if I needed a whole lot of water for a cup of coffee. So there's probably two cups of water in there. Let's just have a look. Yeah, two cups of hard boiling water. Didn't take very long at all. So, Rampage Coffee, that's the way I'm celebrating using my freestyle for the first time. Pour over. This is one of those dollar store silicone devices. Works as good as anything I've found anywhere. Do need to have filters with it, of course, though. People ask about my Rampage Coffee, so of course I'll put a link to it in the... Uh, Video description. I think I need a leather glove for this. Take off my fingerless gloves. All right. 
coffee's a little, or the water's a little hotter than it should be for this, but I can't even see what I'm doing because of the steam. I need the other leather glove. Nice slow, slow pour. So as soon as I have this coffee poured, I'll give you my thoughts. First burn, firebox freestyle, the titanium one. Or titanium, I wish. That's what I'm purchasing in the uh, Kickstarter is the titanium one. This is the stainless steel version that Steve sent me. Looking to see what kind of coals the stove is keeping. Uh, doesn't appear to be a lot of coals remaining behind, and, but I think mostly that's because of the, the uh, nature of the sticks. They were a mix of softwood, spruce, or not spruce, pine, and then a little bit of maple, but they were, they were small, right? Everything was half inch, so it's, you don't expect a whole lot of coals. from that, uh, that small diameter. But it is something I'm going to be keeping an eye on is to see whether or not this will maintain coals for grilling or not. But I'll have to use larger wood to give it a fair test. Okay, just give me a second for this coffee to pour through and I'll give you some final thoughts on my first burn. <sighs> Rampage coffee. Never fails to impress. Yeah, beautiful day, not a cloud in the sky, uh, some snow on the ground, not a lot, but there is, there's probably 10 centimeters of snow on the ground, but it's a stiff breeze coming out of the north, and you can see probably just off of my side here, I do have my tarp set up to, to give me a little bit of a windbreak, because uh, I felt the biting cold north wind when I got here, I'm getting a little bit warmed up now with the sun. Yeah, about minus 15 degrees Celsius, perfect day, for a first test of the Firebox Freestyle. So what are my, third, my initial thoughts? Lit up like, uh, you know, I was impressed. Let's, that's the easiest thing to say. I was impressed how quickly the fire got going. There was more than enough airflow. Is that going to be a problem though? Too much airflow. Do you know when I assembled the stove for the first time at home and I made that intro video, uh, I looked at the fire grate and I said, you know, it, that's a lot of airflow. Uh, it obviously it needed the ash pan underneath it, if, especially if you're going to be on a combustible surface. But will that mean too much airflow? Not for the quick boil up that I just did. That's the type of thing that this stove is obviously going to excel at. Now, you know, will it be a good grilling stove? I will need to use hardwood in bigger chunk pieces to see if uh, it'll work like that. Maybe vertically stack something like a Swedish fire torch. But for a first burn, yeah, I'm impressed. I am impressed with it. And I am purchasing the titanium version. I think just a single stove because the uh, package is, is quite costly. And I have the full package in stainless steel, thanks to Steve. But I would like to have that very lightweight single one that I could take out like today. You know, this is a, exactly what that titanium one uh, excels at is just lightweight, quick boil ups, and we'll see about roasting and the grilling. Okay, uh, you've probably seen more than a few videos now on uh, the Firebox Freestyle. Have you seen any done in the snow yet? I thought I'd make it a little bit different. Let me know what you think of the Freestyle so far and uh, put them in the comments section below. I'll put links back to my first initial preview video so you can get a, a better look at everything that comes with, especially the complete kit. And uh, you'll see this stove more often. I have an idea how to use it with wood, with wood pellets. And of course, I'll have to try it with charcoal. And I'll have to use some bigger wood to see if I can't grill in it. I'll have to use all the other configurations that are, you can make out of it. Yeah, there's, there's quite a bit to play with here and quite a bit to test. All right, folks, until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.